it really does feel nice and relaxing to have a nice clean house and have everything switched over for fall. Good foggy Thursday morning, the start of a new week. <sighs> it's 4th of July. It's foggy. I have no idea. I did not go to the fireworks last night. I could hear them. However, it was foggy. It was damp. The mosquitoes were bad at my house. Like I could actually hear them hitting the window when I turned on the when I turned on the light. So that's going to be an issue tonight. So yeah, that'll be interesting. But let's get the day started. Okay, so the last video is right now saving. I have to upload those two videos that I just made today. Forgetting how quickly you can make a video when you don't have to do a whole ton of editing. And I'm going to upload them stuff to the thumbnails, but those will only take a second because they're real simple thumbnails. And then I'll have all those videos. So you realize this week I have done my two normal videos. Did I do two? Did three. Yeah, my three normal videos. Then I did my speed video. My, look, let's do this way, three normal videos, speed video, then my vlog, then I did these two videos today. That's seven videos in one week. I know some of you are going, that's nothing. I do 100 videos in one week. Good for you. Good for you. But for me, that's seven videos in one week. And two of them, the speed video is like 34 minutes, the vlog is like 20 some minutes. Um, yeah, that's a lot of videos. I'm happy. I don't know what I'm going to do Monday, though. I have to think about that, because one of the things I have to do is I am switching over from summer, which is the blue and the green, to back to school, which I haven't decided what that is yet. <laughs> I have to figure that one out, but we'll do it. We'll figure it out. I was so completely wrong. It's nine videos. Nine videos in one week. That's, that's crazy. Crazy. Uh, so, yeah. Don't know what I'll do next week. We'll see. But nine videos in one week. Woohoo! Uh, final video uploading right now. Tomorrow I will close caption. I still have to do cards on these things. That shouldn't take any time. That's just amazing. Good, very productive Friday morning. Not even 8.30 yet. And so far this morning, I have done all the laundry. The dishes are half done. They're drying right now. I am right now social, doing the social for the videos, and I'm getting the water ready so I can soak the oats for tonight. That, that's something, right? Uh, but it should be a very productive day. It is sort of hot, and I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that. So I've had to coat my skin in, this is mineral oil because this is all I had at the moment. My skin is drying out so much. Uh, so I'm going to have to look at something to stop my skin from drying out. But yeah, it's shiny because there's mineral oil on it. Hopefully that'll help my skin from drying out. But uh, let's start the day. Okay, much later than I planned. It's almost noon. All nine videos are now closed captioned. Alright, so I didn't do all nine. I did like five today. Four. Four. Um, so they're all closed captioned. We're all caught up. Life is good. <sighs> now I have like an hour and 15 minutes bef- two hours and 15 minutes before my mastermind group. Yay. So I went out looking for a storm. There's supposed to be a storm coming and I got one flash at my house of lightning. That's it. There was no storm. Disappointment. What day is it? It's Saturday. Yeah, yeah, good <laughs> Saturday morning. Um, what have I done so far this morning? Did dishes, made oat milk, Life is pretty good. I've got laundry going. It's a normal, pretty normal day. Um, no big plans. Supposed to be hot, of course. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so since I got done with everything, and it's not even noon yet, I decided I'd make extra chocolate syrup, so that way I wouldn't have to make it later on. So that's what's going on right now, making chocolate syrup. And when I say I'm making chocolate syrup, it literally means I brewed a pot of- well, you've seen me do it. Brew a pot of coffee put it into the uh, bread maker, let it go, yeah. So yes, I'm making chocolate syrup, but right now I'm just going to sit on the computer and do nothing. Yay. I found one of the things which is driving me crazy are the people who listen to respond or just don't listen at all or pretend to listen and then ask you the same question. I get that a lot. 
where it's just like they're going mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then they say back to you in a question form, like something you said a few minutes ago, and you realize, no, no, you weren't listening to me at all. Or the people who, no matter what the story is, try to figure out how they can make the story about themselves. That's super, super irritating. And it also shows that, you know, not every story is about you. And people who listen to respond or listen to, you know, make the story somehow go to the way that they want to, they're not listening to the story. That's another bad thing. I mean, we don't teach people how to listen, how to interact. If you have a question, ask a question. We also don't teach people how to handle questions well. I know somebody who, if you ask her a question, she flies off the handle. You can literally be asking her to explain. You're like, oh, I don't understand that. And she gets so furious because you dared to ask her a question. That's not a good way to be. I mean, sometimes people are asking you questions so that they can better understand things so that, that way when they ask you a question, they can understand it even more. But that's just me. So yeah, that's how my evening going. It, it might rain. Might not. Who knows? It's still hot. But yeah, that's my evening's going. And of course, I've done more dishes, getting the, the crock pot thing all ready for tomorrow. That'll be fun. Okay, so as of right now, there's not a storm going on. Uh, it looks bad outside, but we've had a little rain, a little, mm, little something something, but not much. Uh, so, guess it's bedtime. Alright, it's not really bedtime, it's not even 9 o'clock yet. But you know what I mean. It's time for me to be done with this for the day, so we're done with this for the day. And yeah, the light's blinding me. I could like tan in this. So yeah, there we go. I don't think I've done this yet. Good Sunday morning. Uh, I am up, dishes are washed. I am getting ready to make the beef for in the sim pot for dinner. So I'll have to record that. And other than that, that's about it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so the pot roast is in the sim pot cooking which is good. Um, then it should be ready. We should be ready for dinner at noon, which also is good. So we'll see how it goes. Good. Let's say Monday, Monday, yeah, Monday morning. It is a very light filming day. I'm going to get dressed and get going and like film, film, very light filming day because I did most of it yesterday. So that's a good thing, but let's get the day started. So while I'm waiting for my videos to transfer, my recordings, yeah, recordings to transfer over to the computer, thought I'd jump on here and tell you that I just finished watching Stranger Things. Well, I didn't just, I finished it last night. So Stranger Things season number three, and my impressions of it, without spoilers, I might add, is that I liked it, but I didn't think it was the best season. I thought there was a lot of things which could be cut, which added nothing to the plot, which added nothing to the story, which just felt like padding. It felt like they were just literally padding things, and then things which I found super annoying, once again, where, where are the parents? I mean, seriously. Where are these parents? I know if I had kids and they were out all night long, there'd be a lot, a lot of explaining to do, a lot of explaining to do, and a lot of you're grounded for the rest of your life kind of moments happening. Uh, the other thing about it was, I mean, there are lots of unopened questions. I didn't like the amount of death in it. For a show that's realistically geared towards kids, people die. I'm not going to say who dies. I can say that um, a lot of the deaths that I'm counting about are not main characters and they're also not really plot driven. They just seem like we're going to kill people. I don't know. It just was weird. Uh, but the interesting thing about this is the fact that I, I don't know. I know that there'll be a season four because, well, it's Stranger Things. It's doing really well as far as I know. But I want to I wanna get back to a time where like shows were more upbeat and happy and happy. I, I think we can still be exciting and action-packed and thrilling and, you know, have danger, but not everybody has to die. 
uh, good does defeat evil, but, I mean, the cost now in every movie seems to be ridiculously high. I don't know. It's just one of those really, 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 really weird things. I just want to be... I, I just want to see, like, happy things once again, and I don't think that we're seeing that anymore. And I've talked about this before, where I said, you know, we we don't... In a time where people are all stressed out and everything, usually is when you flip over to movies are unrealistically happy, like during the war in the 40s you saw, you know, uh, Andy Rooney, Mickey Rooney, Mickey Rooney, Mickey Rooney, and uh, Judy Garland save the farm by singing songs in the in the barn. Yeah, but now it's just like things are really, you know, people are stressed out, they're upset, they're mad, and we just make movies which just make people more stressed out and more mad instead of happy and carefree and... Hmm, I don't know. It's just really, really different now. It's sort of sad. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to start changing everything over for back to school. Really extreme close-up of my face. Um, because today I did get all of the closed captioning. It's done. This whole video is done. It's put to bed. It is done. I'm ready for tomorrow's video to go up. But yeah, I'll do the um, change over tomorrow. So, that will get rid of the cooler colors, and we'll go for a more natural kind of... My goal would be to get more of a, like, a library back-to-school vibe, but I don't think I'm going to get that, because I don't think I have the stuff to do it, because I don't have the books that I at one time have beca had, because the books, unless it's a reference book, I didn't keep it. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. So yeah, I'll probably, it'll probably be, oh, you'll see it when it happens. But yeah, that's going to happen tomorrow, that changeover. In fact, right now my washer is going because I want to have the stuff ready so that when I go to make the beds and do all that stuff, you know, do the cleaning tomorrow, I can just put up the stuff which needs to go up tomorrow. So that'll be nice. This isn't my fall cleaning. My fall cleaning will actually happen next month when I do the changeover to fall. Yes. That sound is my dryer, which is slowly, slowly dying. Actually, it's not even slow, it's dying. But that is the end of the stuff which I'm going to put up tomorrow, so that tomorrow, after I'm done cleaning, I can then put it up, or actually while I'm cleaning, I can put it up. I guess that makes sense. Um, but it will be a slight change, not anything massive. Well, I guess it's going to sort of be a massive change, because we're going from... Uh, summer blue and green to more of an early fall brown and green it's not I guess a massive change but it will go more of a tree book kind of feeling to it so yeah that'll be all ready for tomorrow when I do my cleaning uh, what's fun is I don't have to I don't have to close caption tomorrow because I did that today and I did it the manual way why am I doing this where you can't see my fingers I did that the manual way where I uh, actually had to uh, type it in as I listened to it so that was interesting it took way longer than I thought it would but it's all in there uh, the video for tomorrow is ready to upload and it's ready to go live on Patreon because they get the full recipe that they can just copy over. <sighs> so yeah, now it's like, I don't know, 10 o'clock? It's 10 o'clock at night. So it's time to go to bed. I'm sort of tired. Good changeover day. It's Tuesday. Um, we are going to change from summer into back to schoolish kind of thing, which would be the middle of August for most of you. When you see those videos come out, it'll actually be in the middle of August. But of course, I'm changing it over today because that's when those videos come out. So when I record on Monday, I'll have my back to school kind of look. But uh, yeah, it's gonna, I mean, it's not gonna be all that difficult because I'm not doing a huge major change. Well, it is a major change, but I'm just changing out stuff more than, you know, wiping down everything and all that stuff because the fall cleaning comes later, and that's a big change, but uh, right now it's just going to change from summer into back to school. 
Okay, from this angle, you can't tell. Maybe if I go slightly over there. Yeah, you can tell, sort of. But the house is now changed over. It's clean. That's a good thing. So yeah. Fall is here. Stop that. It's my fall. Just, just stop. It really does feel nice and relaxing to have a nice clean house and have everything switched over for fall. Ugh. How wonderful. It really is wonderful. Good Wednesday morning. It is bright and early. I'm actually editing the speed video for the week right now. Not finished with it because, well, the week doesn't end until this evening. But I'm editing it because it takes so long for it to edit and render. So I'm working on that. Uh, don't know what I'm doing today. I've heard I got roped into taking my nephew to, um, like, Amesville and Burr Oak. We will see about that one. Um, which, I mean, I like taking him places because he's fun. But, yeah, we'll see if that actually happens. But other than that, let's go. I've probably whined about this before, but the only thing I don't like about the speed videos right now on my computer that I have is that they are so big, it, like, slows down the computer a lot. I need to get a new computer, but of course I need to get more money to get a new computer. Hopefully that will happen real soon, but yeah, so it slows them down a whole lot. But I like editing them. It's actually sort of fun to put the story together, because what the story plays out in the video is not how it's recorded. Uh, so it's really sort of cool that way. I like putting those pieces together. Now let's get back to editing. I'm becoming bizarrely more critical about the things which I'm adding in to the speed videos. Like, I went to the shopping center store. I went to a store. I didn't go to a shopping center. Anyway, went to the store and then I was editing that clip into the video and it served no purpose. It didn't progress the story along. Really had nothing to do with my day. So I cut it out. Yeah, because I didn't need it. Um, what I've decided, and I probably have said this before, but I'm old. I can repeat myself. Um, the speed videos are going to be about my home. It's going to be home. You know, hence the name home. Whereas you guys, since it's my week, you're going to get to actually see me go places. Do I think I'll throw in these um, shopping trip on you guys? Nope, no I don't, because it's not that good of footage. <laughs> but that, you get the idea of what I'm, what my philosophy is about this. So, back to editing. One of the new things that have been driving me the most crazy is the infamous, I know nothing about you, but you need to do more for our cause. Well, okay, if you know nothing about me, how do you know what I'm doing for your cause? Maybe I'm doing tons for your cause. Maybe I'm not doing anything for your cause. Maybe I believe in your cause. Maybe I don't believe in your cause. And if I do believe in your cause, find out what I'm doing for your cause before you tell me I should be doing more for your cause. Um, you're asking where does this come from? Well, without pointing any specific fingers, um... I do know of situations where people have said, well, you don't do this or you need to be doing that without knowing what other things that I'm doing. And that is just annoying. It's just like, hey, you know, I'm already doing stuff for you. I'm already doing stuff for this. But you're going to look at, well, no, you don't do enough. It's just like, well, you know, there comes a point where there's only so much I can do. Uh, the one thing that you'll see, especially with celebrities, is celebrities, the infamous, well, they only did it for their own publicity. And I mean, yeah, sometimes that is very, very true. However, sometimes it's like, well, they did it and then they got publicity. It wasn't necessarily that they did it for the publicity, the publicity just happened. Or my favorite is, well, they did this, but they didn't do enough. They could have done more. They could have. They could have done nothing. Hmm. Sometimes you have to look at it and say, well, is there a point where enough is enough? And most people are like, well, no, enough is never enough. And those are the people I have problems with. Do what you can. Don't ask people to do things that they can't actually do. One of my favorites, especially around here, is we have places that will do... Uh, I'll pick on the infamous, they did a cooking class for, you know, people who are in poor Appalachia so they can learn how to cook. And the cooking class was $100 for a week of cooking classes. 
No, that's not, I mean, you're not actually trying to help the people who would need these classes because one, the classes were during the day, two, it was a hundred dollars. You just ruled out these people, period. I mean, it's just like, oh yeah, we're trying to help you, hundred dollars during the day when you'd be working. I don't understand why nobody came. Ugh. Those are the things that just drive me crazy. Still editing. Almost done, though. Well, I hope you've had a great week. I hope you've enjoyed this. These have been a lot of fun, and I like doing these speed videos, but I also like doing these videos where I get to tell you what, more about what's going on in my life and what I'm thinking about. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and I hope we get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.